Motor Week is made possible by TireRack.com and RockAuto.com. Hard to believe it was five years ago we demolished the turns here at Roebling Road Raceway with what was then a brand new Dodge Charger SRT Hellcat. And to this day, it remains the most powerful and fastest mass-produced sedan that money can buy. But that doesn't mean FCA has stood still. Make room for more Hellcat, and this one flies with the spirit of Daytona. Time to take the old family sedan out onto the racetrack. Well, not exactly. This Dodge Charger does indeed make a great family car, but this 2020 SRT Hellcat widebody is designed with more than just carpool duty in mind and is actually a great track car. As you may have guessed from the name, this Charger now gets the Challenger's widebody treatment, which includes not only extended fenders for a more aggressive stance, but wider 20-inch wheels, upgraded Brembo brakes, and unique suspension tuning as well as new front and rear fascias to smoothly integrate the broader fenders and create a more menacing looking Hellcat. In fact, it turned out so great that going forward, all Hellcat chargers will get the wide body treatment. Now, this particular charger is also a limited Daytona 50th anniversary edition built to honor the record-breaking 1969 Dodge Charger Daytona, the first car to average a 200 mile per hour lap though Buddy Baker actually set that record at Talladega in 1970. But you can join in the celebration with some decals, a unique Daytona deck lid, and 717 horsepower from the now familiar 6.2 liter supercharged Hemi V8. That's 10 additional ponies, which comes from a slight retuning. Torque remains at 650 pound feet. It still sounds as mean as ever, especially when barreling down the straight of Roebling Road Raceway at wide open throttle well into triple digits. It's still big, soft, and comfy while you're doing that, and it doesn't even feel like you're going very fast until you're halfway into a corner, and then you realize, holy moly, it's on. Nothing but good old American muscle here, and you feel every bit of it when you mash the throttle. So yes, it can be a handful, but it's still a sheer joy thrashing this thing around a racetrack. It is intimidating and can get away from you in a hurry, but at the same time, it's so predictable you feel in control at all times. Throttle-induced oversteer is always just an inappropriate breath of throttle away. So you could drive around the track with gentle inputs, you know, the whole egg under your foot thing, or you could just hammer on and off, treating the throttle like some kind of epic power light switch of awesomeness and deal with the consequences. You can guess which one is more fun. Surprisingly good steering feel keeps the smoky sideways fun times rolling. America the beautiful indeed. And when it comes time to use that other pedal at your feet, the brakes are quite confidence inspiring, but after continually searching for their limits deeper and deeper into corners, they will start to fade a bit. SRT performance pages give you lots of options for customizing your preferred setup, as well as dialing in launch control. Getting off the line on street tires with any expediency is still a difficult process as power delivery is relentless. If you can't do a burnout in a 700 horsepower rear wheel drive Chrysler product, then there's no hope for you. It basically wants to leave marks on whatever pavement it comes in contact with. Modulating the pedal to get as much traction as possible, 3.6 seconds zero to 60s are achievable according to FCA but we were unable to get under four seconds here on Roebling slick front straight with a quarter mile time of 12.1 seconds at 124 miles per hour. Now all of this hammering down and around the track sounds like a lot of work, but the Charger makes it about as easy on you as possible. The leather and suede performance seats are quite supportive and comfortable. And when not on a track and just going about daily duties, 
You'll find blue accent stitching, Daytona logos, and genuine carbon fiber about the cabin, as well as a big Uconnect touchscreen for keeping you in touch with everything. Pricing starts at $75,635, less than five grand over a base charger Hellcat, and production is limited to 501 units, just like the 1969 Charger Daytona. A lot of things have changed since the Charger Hellcat debuted for 2015, but it was just another step in a journey that began back in 1969. A journey worth celebrating with the 2020 Dodge Charger SRT Hellcat Wide Body Daytona 50th Anniversary Edition. It's still one of the best ways we've found yet to burn through a tank of gas and gets to 60 quicker than you can say its name.